When learning a new language, we generally start by learning that language's alphabet. Um, the alphabet provides us with a basis for the language, uh, the building blocks of that language. As a new artist uh, starting out in the music industry, it's pretty hard uh, learning and, and trying to uh, evolve as the music industry grows, um, especially as an artist who only understands the creative side of music um, and doesn't have the knowledge of the business end. Um, so as that type of artist, it's similar to learning a new language. Um, so I'll be going over three, uh, really three and a half concepts um, that are geared towards uh, new musicians entering the music industry, but really can uh, be used for musicians at any stage in their career, um, or really anyone in any industry. It's just a good knowledge to have. Um, so a, a little bit about myself. Uh, about a year and a half ago, I started uh, a music booking agency. Um, main purpose working with um, startup artists who have uh, very little knowledge of the industry, um, just trying to get them out there, get their talent out there, uh, trying to get them uh, ingrained in the music community. Um, so as we've evolved, um, we've grown past that. We've grown past just uh, booking them their first gigs. Uh, we've grown into helping them learn more about the industry as a whole. Um, everything from marketing and promotion to daily artist management. Uh, so let's dive right in uh, and start with A. Uh, a stands for audience. Um, figuring out your audience as a new artist is probably the first and most important hurdle um, that any new artist needs to tackle. Um, you need to start with uh, your demographics and figure out uh, what type of audience is going to resonate with your uh, your messaging and what type, of ours, what type of audience is going to be able to help you disseminate your messaging. Um, when working with a new artist, I like to uh, have them think about larger established artists who are, uh, have fan bases um, and have them think about the demographics that they pull in and why that specific demographic is uh, drawn to that artist and what marketing techniques uh, that artist uses to draw in that audience. Um, a subcategory of audience is another A, analytics. Um, social media analytics today are extremely powerful. Um, it's a resource that we've never really had before, um, and it's just readily available at our fingertips now uh, for anyone with a social media account. Um, analytics today have been able to show us everything about the demographics of the market that uh, you're able to hit, everything from their age, to their location, their gender, uh, what time of day and day of the week uh, a specific uh, group of uh, demographic is, um, is frequenting a certain platform. Um, so it's really helpful in uh, figuring out tour routing, uh, as you can see the location of your fan base, um, as well as in determining um, paid advertising on specific platforms, which helps you reach a larger audience outside of the uh, market that you're currently hitting. Um, so moving on to B, B stands for branding. Um, branding is probably the hardest concept for any new artist uh, just getting their start to really fully grasp and understand, um, but it's honestly the most important for them to, to get. Um, I like to think of branding as the overall story, um, the overall marketing goal uh, of an artist's campaign. Um, if an artist doesn't understand their story, if an artist doesn't stand their, understand their goal, um, their audience isn't going to get it. Um, if they're not consistent in their branding, it's going to throw off uh, the artist's entire audience. Um, it's very important in branding to be uh, authentic. Uh, audiences today want to see that uh, the musicians that they love are real people. They want to see that musicians are just like them. Uh, they have real friends, they have real family, they interact with their fans and they uh, act with their fans like they would with their friends. Um, they don't want to see these artists who are um, just the the picture model of the perfect musician who is just touring and, and locked in a studio all day. They want to see uh, real people. Um, so moving on to C, 
C stands for content. Um, content goes hand in hand with branding. Um, content needs to be very consistent with the brand. Anything that is off brand uh, can throw off an entire uh, audience uh, and create a rift within the brand. Um, content uh, is, it's vastly different across different platforms. Um, so artists need to figure out which platform is best for them and which platform is best for their audience. Um, just because an artist is great at creating uh, visual content, photos, um, if their audience doesn't live on Instagram, um, it's not really going to help them. If their audience lives on uh, YouTube and they don't know how to make YouTube videos, they better figure it out fast. Um, it's about creating quality content uh, and consistent quality content across all platforms uh, in which your, your audience lives. Um, uh, viral content today uh, is probably the easiest way to get uh, a startup artist to uh, the, the major end goal of, of being a, a major artist. Um, a lot of artists today have figured out how to uh, create timely cover videos um, from artists that have, major artists that have released um, a, a new song, um, sometimes creating these cover videos within days or even hours of the release of that major artist's new song, um, and drawing in uh, fans from that cover video. And the hope is that they can turn those fans of the cover video into fans of their original content. Um, so the end goal of all of this is to try and uh, get these new fan members to uh, their distribution points, uh, your, your Spotify, your iTunes, your streaming platforms, uh, and eventually to your, your live shows and uh, hopefully the merch table, because that's really where the, uh, the money comes in in the music industry today. Um, because while a like on an Instagram post is great, it's not putting food on the table. Um, so the, the goal of all of this is to drive audience members to um, your, your distribution points. Um, so today the, uh, the game's changing every day. Um, we need to keep learning the language and keep updating our knowledge of the language. Um, but these uh, base points will uh, not change. They're gonna be the same um, as, as the music industry continues to grow and, and we continue to learn the language. Thanks.